Okay, today's video is going to look at formulae and relationships. So a formula is just like an equation, it's got an equal sign in it, but in a formula we've got two or more variables. Okay, so when we've been solving equations, we've been solving things like x plus 5 is equal to 10, that's just got one uh, variable or one unknown value. In a formula we have two or more variables and the formula tells us the relationship between those variables. You already probably know some formula, especially for um, area of shapes. So you probably know that the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. So we've got three variables there, area, length and width. And the relationship between them is that when you multiply the length and width together, you find out the area. So the subject of a formula is um, the variable that's by itself on the left hand side of the equal sign. So in this case, the subject of the formula would be A, the area, okay? Because that's the one by itself on the left hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is look at how we use a formula and the way that we do that is we need to substitute all the known values and then solve to find the final value. So let's look at what I mean here with some examples. So here we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to negative 4. So there, there's three variables that we've been given. We want to find n if n is equal to a plus b. Okay, so we want to work out n, so we'll keep it n is equal to, and we know a is equal to 1, so we'll substitute that in, and b is equal to 3, so 1 plus 3. So in this case, n is equal to 4. Okay, that was a nice simple one to start with. Let's look at the second example. n is equal to 2a minus 3c. So we need to just remember that 2a means 2 times whatever a is, sorry, 2 times a, and 3c means 3 times whatever c is. So let's substitute a and c in, because those are our known values. So we get n is equal to 2 times a, okay, and I'm going to use brackets like this for my notation when I'm multiplying two numbers together, 2 times a minus 3 times c, and c is negative 4. And then we just go ahead and work that out. 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, negative 3 times negative 4 gives me positive 12. So in this case, n is equal to 14. Okay? And example number 3, we've got n is equal to ac minus bc. So again, I'm just going to substitute what I know for a, b, and c. a is equal to 1 a times c, so c is equal to negative 4, minus b, which is 3, times c again, which is negative 4. Working that out, we get 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, and negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Okay, negative 4 plus 12 gives me an answer of n is equal to 8. Okay, so there's three examples there where we've just substituted values that we knew into a formula to work out the unknown value. The last thing we're going to do is take a look at a word problem. Okay, so this is where we might use a uh, formula in the real world. So the first part says, in the blue, it says, if the cost of tickets to the cinema are $12 for adults and $8 for children, write a formula to represent this situation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to work out which variables we're going to use. So the unknown values are going to be the cost of the tickets, the cost for one adult, and the cost for one child. Okay? So what we don't know is, we don't know the total cost, so the cost of tickets, we can use the variable maybe t to represent that. We don't know how many adults are going, so we could use the variable a for adults, and we need to know how many children there are, so we could use the variable c to represent the number of children. 
So our formula might be that the total cost is equal to $12 per adult, so 12 times the number of adults, plus 8 times the number of children, because it's $8 per child. And there's our formula relating the cost of adults and children to the total cost of all the tickets. Okay, next part says four adults and six children go to the movies. Use your formula to work out the total cost. So in this case, we know how many adults there are, so we know that A is equal to four. And we also know how many children there are, so we know that C is equal to six. And what we want to work out is the total cost. Okay, so that's our unknown value. So let's substitute A equals four and C equals six into our formula. So we get T is equal to 12 times the number of adults, so 12 times 4, plus 8 times the number of children, so 8 times 6. 12 times 4 is 48, plus 8 times 6, which is also 48. Added together, we get a total cost of $96. And because we've got a word problem here, it's always good to write a full sentence answer. So the cost for four adults and six children is $96. Okay, part C says if the total cost for a trip to the cinema was $48 and two adults attended, how many children were there? So in this case we are told that the total cost is $48, so we know t is equal to 48, and we know there are two adults, so a is equal to 2, but we don't know how many children there are, and that's what we want to find out. So let's use our formula again, filling in the variables that we do know. So instead of writing t equals this time, I'm going to write 48 equals, because I know t is 48, 12 times the number of adults, so 12 times 2, plus 8 times the number of children. So I'm, I'm going to leave that as 8c because I don't know what c is. So in this case we need to solve for c and we're going to use our knowledge of solving equations to do that. So 48 is equal to 12 times 2 which is 24 plus 8c. Next I need to subtract 24 from both sides of the equation because I want to get c on its own. That gives me 24 is equal to 8c. Okay, and then the next thing I need to do to get c on its own is divide both sides by 8. So that cancels that out. And I'm left with 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So three children uh, attended the trip to the cinema. So we'll write a little concluding statement. Therefore, three children attended the cinema. Okay, so just to recap, a formula is a relationship between two or more variables and in order to use a formula what we need to do is uh, substitute the known values into the formula to work out what we don't know.